be making a razor using this setup already that you can get or you already have uh, to get this to curve around like it's, it's supposed to be what you have to do is type in loft or you can go to let's draw modeling loft so that's the location where you can type it in so I select loft and what you want to do is select each it's pretty much in an order so you want to select uh, one, two, if there's three, usually that's when you want the order. I accidentally click the, click the middle one, I didn't want that. But if you're only having two, it doesn't really matter that order. But if you're doing more than two, then that's an issue. But in this situation, there's only two. So what we're going to do is select those two. Uh, you got to click enter. Now it's going to give you a preview like this. It's not what we want. We want to use a path. So you have an option to click here, or you can type in P. Capital P is the one that you select is the one you're going to have. So type in P, enter, and you just select the blue line or the green line, and that will give you the body of your razor. The next, I'm sorry? I use the loft command. Let me one, one second. We're going to do the head. So how to do that? You can do it two ways. You can use loft again, or you can extrude. I'm going to show it both ways. I'm going to do ext for extrude. I'm going to select this object. So the only problem here, you guys can see, it's not a pie line, so it's, it's two separate uh, segments, segmented lines. Make sure an arc and a line. Uh, to connect these, there's two uh, two ways of doing that. It's either you type in P edit for polyline edit. So if you type in P edit and you select, you type in M for multiple to select more than one. So M, enter or space. Select both these identities. Click space or enter. Then it's going to ask you to convert lines and arcs and splines to pie lines. Yes, you want to do that. It's yes is set at default. So you just click enter or space. And then the next step is you type in J for join, where it allows you to join the lines together. That's what we want to do. Join, enter. Don't worry about the fuzz distance. And enter again to get out of the command. Now if I scroll over, it's one big piece. So it's one connected. Now I can extrude it. It will be a solid piece instead of a, a surface mesh, mesh type. Now, in our option of doing this, here I got the other side. I don't need this piece actually, but I left it for you guys so you guys can know the distance. But if you guys wanted to do this one also as a full polyline, the second option would be to go to region. You go over here on the left side. It's probably the third one from the bottom. Really? Third one from the bottom, you can type it in, or you can go to draw and region. Select region, you select the entire object, you click enter. Pretty much shades it in. It's like hatching almost, but it's not. You actually have a full piece here. And what you want to do is you can extrude it just like this piece. Now uh, you guys can see that there's an actual or orange line around it. I have my uh, Dell objects set at zero, so all my original sketches are left behind. Uh, we dis we discussed that last semester and last class, I believe. So to get this stretched out, all I have to do is type in ext for extrude. Select the object, and I'm just gonna select it to the next point right here. Would be exactly what I need. It's great. Or second option you can do is you can use loft again. Uh, so you go draw modeling. This is where I got extrude. Or you can type it in. Ext for short. Or loft. You select this object and then you select this object. And there you go. Now loft. Actually. The only problem with loft is actually it made a surface. 
which is probably which is might be not what we wanted but I will teach you guys something new with that so if those who did extrude I want you guys to undo it or delete it or whatever and get back to your original two 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 D sketches and what we're going to be doing is we're going to make uh, regions on both sides or actually yeah make them regions and so I go to region it's like this one enter it's like this one enter we go aloft typing it in from here to here enter enter okay so I have my piece you guys can see that each piece is separate moving this and it's actually empty inside I'll do this now to make it one solid piece where you can print it out on a 3D printer what you can do is go to modify 3D operations and there's a new option since I think 2009 gives you the options to convert to solids or convert to surfaces from a solid to a surface so it's either way it's right here so I go to convert to solid and I hope if I select all of these Let's see if this works. No, it doesn't work. Uh, the region might be not accountable for. So, bear with me. Instead of doing a loft and worrying about making it a solid, we're just going to do extrude. Make it a simple for you guys with making it region first. And extrude. Select the object and stretch it out. Uh, the one more thing that I want you guys to do for this is I want you guys to chamfer the back so I don't want it's not a sharp edge and if you want you can chamfer the connection point between your actual razor head and razor body that will prevent your razor from breaking breaking easily so I should change the color so you guys can see a little bit better there we go so this connection point right here you guys can chamfer that make it unique make it yours alright so that's be the first step of creating a razor